What's going on everyone, welcome back to episode 81 and in today's episode we're going to be playing against Newport County. They are 18th in the league, it is a home match for us so hopefully it will be 3 points. But if you haven't already make sure you subscribe, like, leave a comment, hit that notification bell as well, it's all completely free and it massively helps the channel. But before we show you the team, let me catch up on what you missed from last episode. In the last episode we were playing against Northampton, very disappointing result, we drew 0-0. We did have multiple chances, we had 18 shots, 10 on target with 62% possession. We had great chances to get some goals but the keeper was in great form, we also got a goal disallowed in the 11th minute for being offside. So we should have won the game but regardless we got a point, we did keep a clean sheet as well so I have to try and see some positives and just move forward in the next game. But with us drawn against Northampton, let's have a look at league table. And in league table, we're in first place. We've played 44, 139. We've drawn four and we've lost one. We've got a goal difference at 81 and we've got 121 points. There are two games left in the season, so we can get six points from them. It would give us 127 points for the season, which would be incredible as well. But let's show you the team for today. We did just have a game a couple of days ago, so it is a little bit of a makeshift squad. But in goal, we've got Hammond. At right back, we've got Horsfield. At centre backs, Narty and Agungbo. At left backs, Malone. In centre midfield, we've got Barjonis and McGee. At right wing is Khan. Left wing is Davies. Attacking with Central Zote and up front is McMillan. It is still a good squad, so hopefully we can get the three points here. We do have players on the bench that can make a difference, but let's get into it. And this is lineups. Let's get in the dressing room. And this is a great opportunity to show all the pundits that have been right to back you. Let's get into kickoff, skip this, let's give them a little bit of encouragement, hopefully we can get going here. So obviously last episode was very disappointing, we should have won against Northampton, but it is what it is. McGee's on the ball at the corner now, and it's a great start to the game, McMillan's got his first goal. Fifth goal of the season, first goal of the game, five minutes in, fantastic start. Great ball in here from McGee, and he just has to knock it in. Great start there. Good thing as well is McMillan's a fantastic player, been training really well so I thought I'd give him an opportunity here. Especially with uh, Balogun getting injured as well, we will work into the box here. But I'm hoping that we can get some more goals here. Malone on the ball now to McGee. Malone again. McGee, back to Malone. Great play here. McGee. Played over to Horsfield. Plenty of space here, plays it in. And it's the second goal but it's disallowed for McMillan. He is offside. Good opportunity there. Hopefully he can get a couple more goals here. Yeah, oh, he's just off by a whisker. Unlucky there. But as I was saying, it was a really disappointing result against Northampton. Hopefully we can win the next two games. Obviously we'll be going into preseason as well, looking at what players we can bring in. Hopefully we can do a good job there. McGee on the ball again. Knocks it in. It is cleared. Horsfield's going to pick up the ball. To Barjonis. McGee now. Bar oh, what a, what a mistake. Abraham's here. Oh, that was lucky. Very, very sloppy there. Got 10 minutes left till half time though. We are dominating the game. Baker's on the ball here. Plays into Collins. Back to Bennett. To Abraham's. Great tackle, but Sheehan picks it up. And it's a good opportunity, but it goes wide there. And we're almost at half time. But hopefully we can keep this going and hopefully get a couple more goals. We'll do that because we don't want to get any more red cards. But that is half time. It is a good start for us. We are 1-0 up. We have had 13 shots with 8 on target and 70% possession. So we're dominating the match. Hopefully we can go in the second half, get a couple more goals and finish this game off. Let's get in the dressing room. And please with how things are going, let's keep it up. And let's get going in the second half. But obviously we have made some good signings so far. I will look and see what other players we can bring in. But if you can't think of any other ideas, any other videos you want me to see, any how-tos on Football Manager, I'm going to be trying to introduce more videos into the channel. So hopefully you guys do enjoy them. But if you do, make sure you subscribe. We're all, almost at 200 subs. We do get the ball knocked in here. It does get cleared, but Davies on the ball. Davies is tackled. It's moved forward with Collins. Collins into Devitt. Bennett now. Great ball over to Dunk. And it's just gone wide. Good opportunity here. They are getting chances. Hopefully we can see them out here. But what we'll do is let's make some substitutions. It's 15 minutes left to go. We'll take Malone off for Vassell. We'll bring Watmore on for Can. Let's bring Robson on as well. And hopefully we can get a second goal here and see off this game. But yeah, if you guys can think of anything else you want me to see from the channel, it would be really, really great. I can try and see what I can do. Horsfield on the ball now. 
to Barjonas. Horsfield, Barjonas again. Robson, great play here. Vassell plays it in. Davies to Barjonas now at the edge of the box to Horsfield. Barjonas. Horsfield again. And it's the second goal McMillan gets. It's sixth goal of the season, second of the game. Great opportunity for him. Really, really happy they can get the goals here. He's been training really well, so very, very deserved. Great ball over here from Horsfield, and McMillan just has to knock it in. He is still young as well, so he still has plenty of opportunity to improve. And with Sodji coming in, it is going to be a fight for places, but he will get his chances. And if we can't keep Balogun, he'll get more opportunities as well. But we've got five minutes left to go. That should hopefully be us getting the three points now. And that is the end of the match with 1-2-0. Great result here. We've had 21 shots, 11 on target with 67% possession. Great goals from McMillan there. Very happy he got some goals. Obviously, he hasn't been getting much chances, but he is a good player, so I'm glad that he could have got the opportunities there. And we also kept the clean sheet, which was great as well. But let's get in the dressing room. And I'm very pleased with the result. And that was a great result, especially after the last game. I'm really, really happy we got back to winning ways. Great goals from McMillan. Great, we got the clean sheet as well. But let's have a quick look at the league table. And that's us now. We've played 45 games. We've won 40, drawn 4, and we've lost 1. We've got a goal difference at 83, and we've got 124 points. We do just have one game left in the season, so hopefully we can make it 127. And the last game of the season is against Morecambe. It should be a good result from us. It is an away match. But they are 17th in the league, so hopefully we can get the three points. Do have a week till the game, so everyone's going to be fit and ready for it. So we'll play the Morecambe game in the next episode. We'll also do the end of season review. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you do enjoy the content, make sure you subscribe and like the video. But I hope you all have a fantastic day. And as always, stay safe, and I'll catch you next time.